<laughs> so welcome back to our channel as um some of you may know we're in romania right now so we figured we'd get some romanian snacks okay. to try we have like two four six eight ten items mm -hmm. and like half sweet half savory mm -hmm. so we'll just get into it and let you know how everything tastes some of these we taste before like this one i've had a few times before since we came not a big fan but that's about it actually this is the only one we, i tried this is the only one we both tried and i really like it yeah so yeah we just get straight into it excited to see some of the flavors and textures yeah because like we have bacon flavor pizza flavor mm -hmm. peanut peanuts chocolate vanilla mm. rum so i'd say probably start with um and if we remember the prices we'll put them on the screen mm -hmm. as we try the item so we have our water we have some hand towel we have a little butter knife to cut through one of the a few of the snacks mm -hmm. so we'll get to it now what you want to start with Ooh, something sweet or something savory um oh savory we start with this mm. show the people them yeah so it's a star cracks Bacon flavored chip. And uh, you can see it look it looks like bacon. It, it actually looks like grilled chicken breast cubes. <laughs> yeah. But it could pass for bacon. Yeah. Let's see what this bacon. Bacon. is. Like. They come down a little lower. Sounds a little too high. Does it smell like bacon? <laughs> it smells a little bit like bacon. Smoky? It smells like bacon. Show them inside yeah. the pie. Yo, that's crazy. So let's see. We can try it on one, two, three. three. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. 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 It tastes like bacon. But it is like a bacon chip. Obviously, don't taste like straight up bacon, but yeah. it definitely is smoky. Let me try one more. It have a little bit of sweetness to it. You kind of see the seasoning on it too. Mm -hmm. Let me it see have, if I get it to focus a little bit better for y'all. But you could see like it have like seasoned bits on it. It's good though. It have the like mesquite barbecue taste almost. Mhm. Mm Tastes like barbecue and bacon. Y'all, I saw we doing this video. These snacks been sitting in the corner for a little bit, and I've been wanting to so open them. So I've been every day. <laughs> Every day she asked me if she could have a snack, if she could have a snack, she could buy it back, and I'm like, <laughs> no, they know. put a video. So but, finally. Um, the texture is pretty good. They dissolve really quick. So a uh, good crunch, but nothing too sh too harsh on the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the texture of um, bugles. The one mm -hmm. that you just put on your fingers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It reminds me of bugles. Or like Funyuns, but a little bit less firm. Mm -hmm. So out of 10, what you give these? Out of 10? These Star Crocs bacon. Um, I get almost all the seven. Yeah, I'd say like seven, seven and a half. These good though. Yeah, I could need a whole bag though. I so could, especially not the size. I could not the size of course. Probably over time. But I could eat. So like in one sitting. Yeah, you could. You only need a little bit, which yeah. I like. So let's cleanse our palates. Alright. Savory again or sweet? Um, maybe it is. Mm, I don't know. I'm on a savory run right now. I'd say all savory, so I don't like throw our taste buds off. Mm. So let's probably eat this since we had it already. So this is one of the most popular snacks here. It's called poof. I think it's called pooflets. I heard people say pooflets, but they say pooflady. But yeah. This is how it looks. It's like cheese pops without the cheese. Cheese doodle for the Bahamians. But like no cheese on it at all. It's just like popcorn but in a chip form. So let me see if I can show you all what it looks like. It looks like there's those um, styrofoam thing and they use the stuff boxes yeah, with. Yeah, the parking peanuts. The parking peanuts. That's what they look like. Yeah, so get one. I love these. Sorry, like, I don't really like them. Or like one of them, um, if you want to find... Especially on the side, it looks like parking peanut. Yeah, if you want to find that in a restaurant where you have to wet the napkin and then they start to expand. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, like that. Too. So, shit, it's again. 
And have like it melts in your mouth for one, so this will be good for like kids mm -hmm. who don't have like teeth yet. A really strong corn flavor. It's just like popcorn without the kernel. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Like popcorn. They're kind of addicting. I feel like for these, like other people said in their snack videos, it's about the texture. Mm. Yeah, it's a texture thing. So, I like them. They could kind of have a staley taste to it too. Yeah. I think that's why you don't like them. Uh -uh. They're kind of like staley. Yeah, if, you, if you're not used to something like this, it'll really throw you off. But mm -hmm. the more you eat, you'll become more... You, could, you become accustomed to it. Yeah. yeah. But I like them. For me, because I don't really have a flavor and it's more like a healthier snack if you don't want to eat like flavor chip. Um, it's the same kind of low calorie, mm. you know, like how you'd eat popcorn as a healthy snack. And it's not overly salty, it's not buttery or anything. So I'd say as a nice little snack. Yeah, it's a, it tastes like a super light corn and white cheddar yeah. taste. Yeah. Like, um,. What the popcorn chip name? I wouldn't really even say white cheddar. Yeah. I don't remember what it, what it name. Oh, you mean, I know what you mean, but I can't remember the name yeah. right now. But y'all yeah. know what they're talking about. The I'd popcorn say, chip in the, in the black bag. Mm -hmm. This is, I'd give it a seven and a half. I really like it, but it's like, it doesn't really have a flavor like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you eat it because you bought kind of thing. What would you give it, love? I'd give it a five. Okay. So why you, why you say you really like it? Because yeah, but don't really have a flavor. It's a thick thing. It's it's a texture thing for me. Mm. You know, it's a nice little snack. So you pick the next one. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I don't. We don't even have to cleanse our palate from that one. No, it's just thirsty. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry if the lighting off, y'all. We use a natural light, and it's not good lighting in here. So it may be a little harsh at times, but work with us, y'all. Try this. So it's, it says palm bar. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people try the ketchup one. Mm. But I couldn't find a ketchup one. They've been sold out for, since we came here. We've been here almost a month. So, so this one literally says salt. It's just salt, yeah. And they look like teddy grams. It do. So you can see that it says palm bar. And it have like bears on it. Yeah. Smelling. First of all, I'll start off by saying <laughs> they look nothing like the Amazon. <laughs> when I was watching they, videos on the snacks, they always they look all bent up. Yeah, they look they look nothing like the image on the bag. <laughs> they all curve up. <laughs> so <laughs> So that's how it looks from the side. And they don't have a scent. <laughs> yeah, they all bent up for real. I don't know why it look like a cute little berry bear, but Mm -mm -mm. I kind of like see through. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay. I'll see. Careful. Yes. Very crunchy. Mmm. It's nice. It reminds me of, mm. I don't remember that trip name. It come in a red bag. But it tastes just like this. I know what you mean. Yeah. If I can remember the chip, I could put it on the screen. So y'all could, especially in the Bahamas, y'all will be familiar with what it mm -hmm. is. But it like, Bubbly. No, my, my man gone exactly on that chip too. Yeah, it, it tastes just like that. It kind of like, it almost looked air fried or something. Mm. That's the best I could describe it. But if we could find it, we'll probably insert our image of the chip we're talking about. Yeah. It I looks, think it's not with an M. Mm-hmm. It ain't munchies. It ain't munchies. I know what you mean though. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on the same page. Yeah. What's the best way to describe this? The, t the taste is really good. It's yeah. like nice and salty. But... I don't know. Salty. So it melts in your mouth. Mm hmm The same as uh the pooflets. No. Or the the crock. The bacon chip. The bacon chip. But it it more I feel like it firmer. Mm-hmm. It's very crispy. So I really like this one. Mm-hmm. It tastes fried but not oily. No. I think it's my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. I'd give it like eight and a half. Mm. Eight and a half, nine. That's my favorite. I like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, Romania. <laughs> this remind me of like um, 
like rice noodles like if you were to fry it mm -hmm. you just chop it in the hot oil and That's then expand it kind of quick and then you just scoop it right out Mexico had chips similar to this too. Mm. Those ones on the on the um, on the street where the people used to sell you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The in the bags. Mm -hmm. um, oh. So, need two more savory um, snacks left. And then we have like two, four, five, six different Oh yeah. We have like six treats. So, two, um, four. I saved the peanut ones a lot, so they feel like they're gonna. So eleven snacks here. Yeah. So, get the star. So it's, so it's the same brand as the bacon chip, but it's like um, a pizza flavor chip. So it's a star pufferty mm -hmm. pizza. It kind of looks, looks like, like funny or margarita, not margarita. Uh, confetti or pinata mm -hmm. type design. Yep. Let's see. I excited for this one. Look like an off-brand um. Funyuns. Funyuns. Mm -hmm. It don't look like what it look like on the bag. Kind of sort of. Yeah, just not as big. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it. It have green specks on it. It's probably like chives or parsley. Yeah, it have like green specks on it. Almost like how sour cream and onion chip would have yeah. that. Don't really have a scent. Let me smell it. Mm, you can smell it a little bit here. You didn't mm -hmm. lay on me, baby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good now. Let's pretend. Oh. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Okay. I like it. Mm hmm. That was like a. What is our taste? Generic. Chive, onion, garlic taste. I don't know. Something in there. You know what? It have a generic onion taste. Mm -hmm. And it also has some kind of sweetness on it. Mm -hmm. I'd eat it, but I mean. I've been a big fan. Yeah. Don't taste that pizza though. My least favorite. And I was so excited for this one. I'll finish it though, but not my favorite. I'll give it like a five. I give it a four. Yeah, four and a half. I don't know. I feel like I'll have to keep eating it to get used to it. It don't taste like pizza. More. No, it definitely, definitely don't taste like pizza. But then again, pizza over here kind of uh, different. Uh, this is a, a sour cream and onion pizza. Pizza over here kind of different because remember that pizza of sour cream on it. Mm. Mm. Eh, it alright. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I'd give it like four and a half. Ooh. Good one. Last savory one. It's called Lotto Peanuts and it's like puffs. This kind of reminds me of the one we had in Serbia that our tall guy gave us. So, this is how it looks. I noticed the smell like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It smells like Captain Crunch cereal, the peanut one. It looks like Captain Crunch. <laughs> Smell it. Mm -hmm. So it's like big pops and now. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like big pops and now. And like, it smells like, uh, it smell like nut butter. Yeah, it smells like nut butter. The biscuit, um, the biscuit, the peanut biscuit. Yeah, so that's how they look. Take one out. What do they look like? They look like tater tots. Yeah, they look like tater tots. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely stick it. <laughs> Definitely stick it to my mouth like peanut butter. Plata, like, plata. like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It tastes like it tastes like natural peanut butter. Mm. If you if you buy natural peanut butter in the food store where the oil separated from the peanut butter mm -hmm. and you mix it up, that's what it tastes like. Mm. Strangely enough, I feel like I have to drink milk with this or something. That's what it's given me. Soy milk. Or almond milk, but it feels like it's a creamy to go with it. I'd say the peanut taste is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, better than I expected it to be. I expected it to be a lot more overpowering, but um, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'd give it like a seven, though mm -hmm. seven, seven and a half. 
Um, yeah, in terms of taste and texture, I'd say a seven. Mm -hmm. But um, I personally wouldn't need it. Mm. Okay, y'all. We tried to fix the light in. It's the best we could do. Hopefully, we can focus. Um, so it's sweet time now. So we have two, four, six sweets. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say the most traditional are those ones at the top. So mm -hmm. pick any one of those. Okay. I think that's the most popular one. Rom. Rom, and it has a Romanian fly. Mm -hmm. So in Romania, it's more to have like rum flavored um, desserts, like cakes or chocolate bars even. So from what I heard, this is a rum flavored one. And Darren said when he opened up the pack, that's the first thing he could smell. Let me smell it. I can smell it from now. So it doesn't have rum in it, but it's rum flavored, like vanilla extract, but rum extract. Let's see. I don't think we can eat plenty of this. It's very small. It looks like it said Bucharest on it. There you go. So it says Bucharest on it. Bucharest tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, that was filling in it. Let's see. Cheers. Oh, girl. That's a cream soda. Mm -hmm. It's a strong rum taste, so. I mean, focus? Yeah. It has a strong rum taste to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very strong rum taste. Almost like rum cake a little bit. Yeah. It's like rum cake. But chocolate, of course. It's good. I'm not a big chocolate fan. So, it's not like I'll go and buy it, but yeah. it's good. I'll yeah, give it all. The flavor's really nice. Mm -hmm. For chocolate, I'll give it like an I eight. What it tastes like. I'll give it an eight. Yeah, it tastes like cream soda and um, rum. <laughs> rum. Mm -hmm. so, I'll give it um, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the next this? popular one is Eugenia. And I think that's rum flavor too. Oh, so probably we need an hour to save the last one. Okay. Oops. This is here. The packaging reminds me of. It look good. It look good from the back, yeah. Can you put it in as well? The packaging reminds me of like a banana fudge thing. Yeah. Which I don't oh, I like. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a uh, M and M's on the side. So apparently it's a biscuit and inside has a chocolate cream, but from what I heard, something still have a rum flavor. I don't know if the biscuit has the rum flavor or the chocolate cream has the rum flavor. It's like a sandwich cookie and it has the word Eugenia on it. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. I think, I guess we'll bite it because I feel like I can do. I oh know. That's fine. Okay. One. It smells like, the chocolate pot smells like rum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat it, but yeah, I don't like it. Let's see. That's what this tastes like. The chocolate pot is kind of gritty. The and it's kind of like creamy with a pinch of rum. The filling tastes like a, a off brand chocolate Oreo. Hmm. Um, the biscuit. I don't really like the biscuit. It's like a cracker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not my favorite. I'd give it a... Yeah, not my favorite. Mm, I don't know. I'd give it a three. I'd give it a three. Yeah. I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't like it either. Not much things I don't like, but I don't like it. It's kind of artificial. Oh, wait. All right. Mm -hmm. Halva. Yeah. For the most part, all of these treats have some kind of chocolate in it. So it's like a, it kind of looks like a fudge, like a hard fudge, a little bit. It looks like a, <laughs> look like a lush soap bar. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is how it looks. Yeah. It looks like a soap bar, and then the Pretty side of it is a swirl. Mm -hmm. So let's see, it looks like fudge. Yo, it kind of like falling apart. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Cheers. Yes. 
Oh. What is that? Okay. It's like. It looked like a box sign. It tastes so familiar. You know what it tastes like? It mm -hmm. tastes like. What is that? You know what it tastes like? You ever had PB2? The peanut the butter powder? No. It tastes like they made a paste out of the PB2. I don't, I don't like it. And swirl in chocolate. I can't taste the chocolate at all. It tastes like PB2. It like gritty. Mm -hmm. Like it. I, I figured we wasn't going to like it, but I said I'll try it anyway. But yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. I think I saw this in Sanaya too. When we were up mm -hmm. in the mountains, they had like a market. I think the Moldova um, tent had it. Oh, okay. It tastes like a, it tastes nutty. Like a gritty nut. That's the best I could describe try it. another piece? Mm -hmm. The more you eat it, the more your tongue kind of gets like used to it. It tastes like nutty. So, yeah. think about like a dry, think about if you were to take peanuts and grind them up into like a fine powder and then made a paste with it. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. So it ain't bad. It ain't bad. At first it was, it, at first it throws you off though. Yeah. But I'd give it like, now that I tried it and ate a few, that's why they say you just got to try things three times. Now that I ate a few pieces of it, I'd give it like a six. I give it a four. Yeah. It's not a cup of tea. No. I'll just leave it there for a close up. Mm. Okay. These are the three. I don't know if they're Romanian per se, but... I see them in all the food stores, so I said we'll still try it. Um, we'll still try it. A lot of people seem to buy them because sometimes they be sold out. So, but they look pretty what we would be used to in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, well, this is um, there to enjoy. It's a wafer with dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's a wafer with dark chocolate and cream. Oh, this is thick, honey. Yeah, it smells like a rich dark chocolate. It smells familiar though. It smells like dark chocolate. Like mm -hmm. dove dark chocolate. Let's see. We can just bite into it. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm, and it's like, it's like that, a wafer filling. That's what it looked like. That candy mm. we get from home with the two bars. Mm. What mm -hmm. the hell? I don't know. I'm not really, butter too. It's really popular. The chocolate. The, I, I think so. They call them nutter butter. Mm hmm. Ooh. That's good. It tastes good. It's it's dark chocolate, so it's strong. Yeah, nice and rich. It's very rich. You don't need a lot of it. No. Mm -hmm. I'd give this a solid nine. Yeah. I'd give it a nine. And we don't really like chocolate like that, so that's how it's all. That's it. It tastes exquisite. That's the best <laughs> treat. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try Joe. Okay, so the next one is called Joe and it's just like the regular wafers that we used to mm -hmm. at home and in the States. Yeah. This one is vanilla wafers. So I feel like it'll taste like similar to the vanilla wafer or the the one that was vanilla strawberry or chocolate. Yeah. I need some more water. I can't remember that brown is. The dark chocolate's still in my mouth. I need some water too, but I ran out. Mm-hmm. It wasn't full. Mm. -hmm. Yeah, what are it mines? <laughs> Excuse me. My water room temperature. That's why. Joe, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Joe. <laughs> Oi. Okay. Yeah, they look the same too. Yeah, it looks like a regular um vanilla wafer. Yeah. We get close ups already. Either way, don't need the boots. I'm just gonna break it. <laughs> you can break it. Oh, what did it do? Okay. Cheers. Yes. It took a while for the flavor to hit. The first like five bites, mm -hmm. and it tastes like nothing. Yeah. But okay. A typical, it's like a typical subtle. But no low way for. Nothing it, crazy. It's less sweet than the ones we used to home. Yeah. Those ones don't be kind of sweet. Yeah. And it tastes artificial, but not uh -huh. this one. Yeah, this one tastes real. Mm -hmm. The flavor is yeah. is just so <laughs> real. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They did a good job with this one. Yeah. At first, you don't taste nothing, but like by the fifth bite, it's like 
Slowly, that mellow vanilla taste. Yeah, and the brown is nasty too, so. Yeah, it's nasty. So I don't think this one Romanian, but I'm sure they eat it here. So I like it. I'm happy we tried that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd give it a, I'd give it a nine. Yeah, i give, I'd it, give a it a nine. nine. Last one. I don't think we get like this one because and the last one is we had it before. Uh, bis they call it biscuit salami. Mhm. Mm because um, the way it's made with all the little mm -hmm. biscuits inside, the chocolate resembling like the mm -hmm. <laughs> black pepper and the different spices and <laughs> the different spices and stuff you would find in uh, salami or other cured deli yeah. meat. You know that salami, the one would have the G? Genoa? Genoa. Mm hmm Like the Genoa salami. Um, we had this in Tulum at an Italian restaurant, surprisingly. They had it as... We did try it or someone else to get it? No, we tried it. They had it as a dessert, and it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like, that, it was what they recommended, and I didn't really like it. It's essentially chocolate with biscuits through it, like pieces mm -hmm. of biscuits through it. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, we're not really chocolate people. <laughs> But who knows? We may like this one. It's have a super strong rum, rum scent. It's really popular here because I know. Ooh, when you go to the park, <laughs> they have people selling like fresh ones that they make at home. Yeah. So, um, I picked this up today. Actually, I picked this up after everything else. So I say I feel like this will be good to try. But I know Romanians. I know the Romanians are gonna tell us we should try the fresh ones, but we don't even know where to find it. My first impressions would be that um, it's a really strong rum scent. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And it's a lot more softer than I thought it would be. Mm. And like Zanya said, it's biscuits and nuts going through it. Mm -hmm. So it looks, looks like different kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. Cashews are probably macadamia nuts. Mm. I'm scared. Okay, I'll take a little piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it end up being good and we like it. I got it. This Okay, the one in Tulum was very dry. Like a hard... Biscuit or something, but this more like yeah, gritty. The more moist. I think I wonder if the rum is make it gritty. Probably. Cheers. <laughs> you more pluck a pluck us all. Another piece. I don't like it. It don't miss a chocolate. It's hard to get behind its texture. And taste. It tastes like wet bread almost. I don't like it. It tastes like a very compact cake that was wet. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks similar to like fruitcake too and yeah. I don't like fruitcake. The, <laughs> <laughs> the closest I could describe it to is fruitcake. The ones home, those heavy fruitcake with the rum. It's kind of like that. And I like fruitcake and I don't even like this. I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like the texture. I don't like the taste. Not my cup of tea. I gave it a 2.5. It's definitely different than the one we had in Tulum though. So I have we tried it here because I'm sure this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. The one in Tulum is more like a crack, like I said, like a biscuit or something. It was dry. And it would be it would be interesting to try the fresh one like Sunday said the uh, locals recommend. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I doubt it would be that much different from this to change my mind completely. Yeah. I don't care for it. Yeah. I really don't care for it. So I for me, I'd give it like, yeah, three. I give it a three. Yeah, but I'm happy we tried all of these snacks. Yeah. We go through all of those. We're going to do the close-ups so y'all can see everything up close and personal when we describe it to you. Mm -hmm. um, really happy we decided to, to do this video because um, it's really interesting to see uh, other people do it in different countries or if... They're just in the U.S. and they have their subscribers send them a yeah. care package from their country. So they're always interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that we tried it and we're open enough to try it. Yeah. So and the ones we didn't like, I, it's, it's not that it's disgusting. It's just not no. our taste. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's it's doable, but for our taste, we yeah. wouldn't, you know, gravitate to that. And I'm not a picky person. Like, I'd eat anything and i tried three times to make sure i really don't like it you mm -hmm. know i wouldn't know yeah darian more like our friend diana <laughs> <laughs> diana you and you darian is you and i'm lawrence yeah. i mean i'd try it 
But if I don't like it the first time, can you try it again? I doubt it'll be better the second or third yeah, time. Yeah, I'll try it and like some things. Yeah, but other things, no. You kind of know with some yeah. things. Even if I don't really like it, I'll still eat it. Like for sure, some days like these, do you still get meat? Okay. <laughs> so like, even if I really don't like it, I'll still eat it because I don't want to waste it. You know, mm -hmm. or like I'll just eat it mindlessly. Mm -hmm. But if I really don't like something. I'll probably wait a long time and then try it again and then wait a long time and then try it again. So I really give stuff a chance, but yeah, the stuff Wait. that we didn't like is just our taste buds are not used to those flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the textures are different for us. Yeah. And then some things aren't for everybody. That's, that's yeah, just, just what it is. the bottom line. You know yeah. what I mean? So we're happy we tried it. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. And we plan to do this in every country we visit. So stay so, tuned so you can get a perspective. Yeah. We didn't do one in Tulum or in um, Turkey. No. But we'll go back to those places anyway because yeah. they are hot. <laughs> Mexico and Turkey. So when we go back to Mexico, we'll do it. When we go back to Turkey, we'll do it. But as of right now, we'll try to do this in every country. Moving so forward. if there's snacks in your country that you want us to try, mm -hmm. leave it in the description. And when we um, get well, there, yeah, we'll be sure to we'll find try it. We'll link you up mm -hmm. so you can let us know what to buy. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more travel content and more videos like this, us eating in different countries, because that's all we do. We do a little bit of exploring, a lot of eating. Uh-huh. So it's like a travel but food channel. Mm -hmm. In eating and experiencing local food, you get uh, insight into their culture. Yeah, for sure. And their traditions as well. Yeah, food In terms is a big of thing. the food preparation, the way they uh, cure meat and the spices that they use. The flavors. Yeah. Like how Romania has a big like rum flavor thing going on. Yeah, so if you like this type of content and you want to see like travel vlogs, mm -hmm travel videos how to travel subscribe to our channel yeah be sure to subscribe yeah. on the road to a thousand subscribers right now yes. and we want to thank you guys for continuing to rock with us and support our journey so far yeah so lots more exciting things to come yeah so subscribe like leave a comment down below to let us know that you like this type of content so we keep making it mm -hmm. we're right starting now. to build a, a good community and yeah it really pushes us to do uh, more videos and try different things than we would normally do yeah so let us know what type of videos y'all want to see from us leave that down in the comments and we will see y'all in our next video see you in the next one thanks bye, bye.